Hello and welcome to TechBoost TV. Today I'm going to show you how to install hard drives and solid state drives into an HP Z8 G4 workstation. Before beginning, we recommend checking with the manufacturer and making sure the latest firmware is installed. For this installation, you may need a Phillips head screwdriver. The Z8 G4 can support up to 6 3.5 inch or 8 2.5 inch drives, including SATA, SAS, and PCIe M.2 NVMe SSD. The system can be configured for up to 48TB total storage and has a variety of onboard RAID options. To begin, ensure your computer is powered off and the power cord is unplugged. Next, press and hold the remaining power button until the light is completely shut off to ensure there is no residual power remaining on the motherboard. To access the drive base, you will first have to remove the side panel. The four 3.5 inch hard drive bays are located at the front of the system. Remove the tray from the system by depressing the latch and pulling the tray towards yourself. Place the hard drive in the tray like so, and ensure each of the four pins finds their way to the retaining holes on the sides of the hard drive. Once properly mounted, the hard drive will be flush with the tray, and you can plug the drive into the drive bay. The data and power connections are built into the hard drive bay, so you do not need to worry about connecting any cables. If you are installing a 2.5 inch solid state drive, the process is the same, but you will need a drive bay converter to mount into the 3.5 inch tray. Next, you will have to screw the solid state drive into the adapter. To install an M.2 NVMe drive, you will need either a PCIe adapter or one of HP's Z Turbo quad drive carriers. In either case, you will have to attach a heatsink to the drive. Next, place the M.2 drive into the matching slot and use a Phillips head screwdriver to attach the drive to the board. For a PCIe adapter, you can find the appropriate PCIe slot near the back of the system. Press the M.2 adapter firmly into the slot, ensuring the bracket notches are aligned and fit snugly into the system. Attach the SATA cable to the motherboard. Lastly, reattach the cover and the side panel. Please check out our how-to videos covering processor, RAM, hard drive, and video card installations, as well as general product overviews for this and other systems. If you have found this helpful, please hit the like and subscribe buttons below. We welcome suggestions on how to make these more useful, so please don't be shy requesting more content.